what kind Always opening doors kind Chose to see, hope with thee Waking up the four corners kind Written on that stone kind You how we shy, you alone kind Friends up, my locks are dark Locked out of garden, but he popped the lock Shalom Israel I just wanted to go over some things real quick Um It's a Saturday afternoon We had a good day at camp And uh we we ran into we ran into some pretty some pretty weird characters today, but overall it was a good day, man. The word the word came out. Uh, we was prophesying to the wind, and sometimes you got to do that because hey, you're not gonna have somebody to holler to every time you go out there. But one thing that the brother had had brought out is that our people do not care. They walking up and down the street all day with no cares, man. They silly. They stupid, man. They don't care. Um, Isaiah, what is it? Isaiah 1 and 3. Classic scriptures. All right. The ox know of his owner and the ass his master's crib, but Israel does not know. My people does not consider. I just wanted to talk about how we don't even consider the most high. And um, it's crazy because a lot of people like um, people so satisfied with riding the damn bus, man. People so satisfied with smoking their cigarettes, sitting on the bus with their headphones, sitting at the bus stop with their headphones on. Don't got nowhere to go. Don't got no job. Don't got no kingdom. Nothing. Just happy, man. Just happy. And you know what? Brothers in Israel like that, too. It's brothers this this in Israel who got that same spirit. They just happy. They just happy to be with the camp. They don't care nothing about advancing the kingdom. They don't care nothing about putting in the hours of work in order to be a king with the, with these scriptures. They don't care about that. They just happy to have some people to call brothers. And you know what? All praises because everybody can't be. Everybody ain't gonna be. Uh, What can I say here? Everybody's not as diligent as King David. But King David not going to be the only person in the in the kingdom, right? The man that was on the thief that was on the cross beside your house, he's going to be in the kingdom. So that man may not even be good with the scriptures. So he may not even be nice with the scriptures. You don't know. He may not he may not be able to find all the precepts. But he'll be there. He'll be there. Um, cause y'all shot told him he was going to be there, but you got different types of brothers, man. We got, listen, we got the people in the world. They don't even consider. And then you got people in the truth that don't consider that there's a next level to this. And, um, we got to take everything to the next level, dog. We not basic. The most high ain't asking us to come to the kingdom to be basic. What the elders say all the time is so cold. We ain't asking you to be here and doing this with us. If you, if you can't be this diligent, then we don't need you. And we're not saying don't be a part of Israel. But they literally saying if you're not going to be this diligent, we don't need your help. Be a brother from the sidelines, but don't put the t-shirt on. And that's what we asking now, man. Like... If you if you're not even gonna consider with the next level of this, if you're not gonna take this to the next level, then don't even come out here, man. Don't even come out here. And I got some precepts for that. So for instance, I write music. I do music, and all my stuff don't be super high quality. Like I listen to brothers like the Rocker Bar, you know, the Deacon, all these people, their music is top notch, man. Like it sounds crispy, it's nice. And my stuff ain't necessarily crispy and nice as far as production quality. Um, so I choose not to put it out. But the level, the level of time that I put into each word and each phrase and each sentence that goes in there, I'm not just saying stuff because it rhymes and it sounds good. I'm saying stuff that got deep scriptural meaning and that... You know what I'm saying? It takes years of study. Like, it took years of me studying to get to the point where I could even say that. So, I'm taking my craft to the next level. Because that's what the Most High created us for. Was to take it to the next level. 
Okay? Um, so let's hit let's hit Matthew 6 and 21 real quick. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. My treasure is in the kingdom. Right? And so therefore my heart is in the kingdom. So when I'm out here doing the most highest work, man, that's the that's the best place I can be right now. So I'm giving my best quality work. I'm not just showing up just to be at camp. I'm not just uh, studying my Bible. I'm not just reading my Torah portion just because it's the Torah portion. Um, and I'm not just studying my lessons, you know what I'm saying, under the elders and stuff. I'm not studying my lessons just because they asked me to. I'm doing this stuff in order to make me a better tool for the Most High. A great example of this is this. We was out there preaching today. And all my precepts are color-coded in my Bibles. I've been doing this two Bibles ago. I've been doing this. So I keep all my precepts the same color. So he, I noticed that he was talking about a particular subject. And so that color in my Bible was yellow. So as he was getting to points, I already had precepts. I could just flip through and find that yellow precept. Boom. Oh, I already know what he needs. And I'm pulling it out. Or he asking, oh, man, get me this right here. I can't remember where it's at, but get it. I know where it's at because I got it highlighted on that page. You got me to the page, and I know the preset you're looking for because I already got it highlighted yellow. Like, that's the type of diligence that we need in the kingdom in order to get these people to hear and see what's going on. Like, we got brothers who used to smoke blunts. Myself was one of them. We got brothers who used to just sit back and drink and smoke blunts and listen to them. Scarface all day. You know what I'm saying? Listen to them Lupe Fiasco and Talib Kweli all day and break down all the lyrics. And now we brought that skill of breaking down metaphors and lyrics from the rap world into the scripture. Man, this is what we do, man. This is what our people do. But the Most High gave us this talent for a reason. We got to be diligent and we got to bring it here because where our treasure is, there is where our heart is. If you treasure the kingdom, your heart going to be with the kingdom. Your heart is going to be in a place where you can say, you know what? I'm giving my all right here. I done worked all week, Monday through Friday. Had homework to do once I got home. And got a family to take care of and spend time with once I got home. But when it come down time to do the father's work, I got the time to do that. Because I'm diligent and I'm ready to see the kingdom grow. So y'all brothers stay diligent. All praises to the Most High, Yahweh uh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. Um, and just stay up, man, these perilous times. We need y'all. All praises. Give me spirit, give me power, keep us to the final hour. Give me knowledge of Yahweh.